One year ago, the process you are watching didn't even exist. And for Mike McDermott, Pfizer's president of global supply, a novel virus meant he needed a novel approach to vaccine manufacturing. This has been an amazing uh, 12 months, uh, like nothing I've ever experienced in my career. Remember, until the end of last year, no vaccine using mRNA technology had ever been authorized. And now I'm getting an exclusive look here in Kalamazoo, Michigan, at how Pfizer, in partnership with BioNTech, has produced millions of these vaccines. 60 million doses are surrounding us, hugging us right now. Imagine the impact that this uh, room will have, just the doses sitting here today, on U.S. citizens and patients around the world. Now that gives you goosebumps. While Pfizer has more than doubled its output from a month ago, now producing at least 13 million doses a week, it's still not enough for McDermott. By the middle of this year, we're at 13 million doses. We'll be at 25 million doses in a couple months. So 100 million a month. 100 million a month. And he's doing that by continuing to look for novel solutions even seemingly simple ones. They found that their suppliers couldn't provide enough dry ice, so they decided to produce their own. High-vis uh, jackets so we can see each other, hard hat. It also means that you are now seeing things that President Biden didn't see when he was here just five weeks ago in February. So this is our new formulation suite. Uh, Here is part of how they scale up so fast. These prefab formulation suites, they're all built in Texas before being brought here. If we built it wall by wall on site, it would have taken us a year. By doing it modularly, we could cut that in half. If you want to get on one side, I'll get on the other. And yes, as I found, it really is as easy <laughs> as pushing it into place. Man, that's amazing. That is pretty smart. But for McDermott, it really all came down to this key part of the process. There's never been a, a commercial scale mRNA uh, vaccine. So everything you see here is custom design. Remember, what makes up Pfizer's vaccine is basically mRNA housed in four different lipids, which is really just fat. And this tiny tool called an impingement jet mixer makes it possible. Now this is going to sound too simple, but here goes. On one side, mRNA is pumped in. On the other side, lipids. And they are forced together with around 400 pounds of pressure. Out comes a lipid nanoparticle, which McDermott says is the perfect package to deliver mRNA to your cells. That's the vaccine. When you start to really scale it up like that, how confident were you that it was going to work? So the first time somebody showed me this impingement jet mixer, I said, you can't be serious. How could you put billions of doses through here? So my confidence level was actually quite low. Not that it could be done. I knew it worked at this scale. But how could you multiply it? Not only did McDermott crack that code and is now on his way to producing billions of doses for the world, his life has now come full circle. Because as a kid, my dad worked for NASA. He was lucky enough to be in mission control in uh, Houston when Neil Armstrong stepped on the moon, right? That amazing moment. Mark, giant leap for mankind. And the day we shipped the first doses out of this site, it rushed over me like that was, that was our moonshot. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, Kalamazoo, Michigan.